What's up everybody and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel on SAT Math. This one is all about five last minute pro tips to help you boost your score and maximize your efficiency when it comes to the math section of the SAT. I'm going to be talking about some lesser known formulas as well as relationships and geometry that are going to help you cut through a lot of the jargon when it comes to the SAT math problems. So without further ado, Let's do it. The first tip that you gotta know is when you're trying to find the vertex of a quadratic function that is in standard form, meaning again, ax squared plus bx plus c, the x value of the vertex is at negative b over 2a. This will save you a tremendous amount of time. If you know this, you don't have to put it in vertex form. Your vertex is simply at negative b over 2a comma, whatever the function value is when you plug in that x value. Tip number two is that for any question that asks for the sum of the solutions of a quadratic equation, the answer is simply negative b over a. This will save you a lot of time, especially when something is not factorable. All you have to do is put negative b over a and you've got your sum of the solutions one and done. Tip number three is to know the following Pythagorean triples. Now, you don't need to know these because if you know Pythagorean's theorem, you can derive these values regardless, but it'll save you a little time if you do have these down. So for example, three, four, five is a very common Pythagorean triple that is tested, but not just three, four, five, don't forget the multiples will also show up. For example, a six, eight, 10, or a nine, 12, 15. Other common ones include five, 12, 13, seven, 24, 25, and eight, 15, 17. Tip number four has to do with trigonometry and they love to test this fact. And it is this, sine of an angle equals cosine of the complement of that angle. And this comes up a lot, for example, when you have a right triangle, and let's say you have two angles that are not right A and B. Sine of A will equal cosine of B, and vice versa is also true. Sine of B will equal cosine of A. Finally, tip number five is all about slope of linear equations when you're given two coordinates. I don't like the slope formula. It's not my favorite because I feel like it unnecessarily requires you to memorize all of these terms and numbers and all this stuff. Instead, stack them and subtract them down. That is my tip. So for example, if you have two coordinates and you're trying to find the slope of those two coordinates, you stack the coordinates one on top of the other like so, and you subtract down meaning first you subtract the y's, place that difference on top of the difference of the x's, boom, done. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button and if you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.